students demanding action tonight after a teacher used the N-word in class. Hundreds of students walking out of Decatur High School in protest, and that is where we're going to start things tonight. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper spoke with impassioned students and disappointed parents. She joins us live from where those protests happened. Tori, a lot of these students say they feel like the teacher did more justifying than he did apologizing. Yeah, Alan, the students we heard from say that the teacher spoke more about what happened and showed very little remorse. He directed it to two students, not directly calling them the N-word, but just telling them not to say it. Um, this caused a lot of people to be in shock because we weren't expecting him to say the actual word, and he said it multiple times. Students at Decatur High School say a teacher, identified by staff members as Mr. Chestnut, was removed from class for one day after using the N-word last week in front of his physics class. He returned to class, and this is how students reacted. No justice, no peace, no justice. Students tonight say Mr. Chestnut needs more diversity training, and he should be fired. Every colored and Asian, Hispanic people were very hurt by him saying it, wait, and what? they really just wanted something to change. Especially wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 are we talking about the same word here? Did you just say Hispanics and who else? Uh-uh, no, 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 we ain't gonna skip past that like you just didn't say what you just said. Tonight say Mr. Chestnut needs more diversity training and he should be fired. Every colored and Asian, Hispanic people were very hurt by Why? Why was Asians and Hispanics very hurt about the N I'm confused. Are we talking about the same N word right here? My whole thing is, first of all, y'all doing all this because the man was trying to correct some students on not to say the word. And now, I'm not going to lie. Do I agree? Uh, me personally, this is how I truly feel. Okay. I, I look, if I get canceled, I get canceled. This is, but this is how I truly feel. If we can say the word to each other, if we can say it throughout our everyday life, I'm pretty sure you go outside right now somewhere in Chicago, you will hear a black fella saying the N word. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure you will. All right. You hear people say it all the time on TV. You hear a whole bunch of people say it. Why is it so painful when a white person say it when like i said once again in my last video i said we never spent we don't even know the pain that our ancestors have dealt with you know what i'm saying we don't even know the true pain that i us that ancestors have dealt with with the n-word so why do we say it to each other if the n-word is so powerful it's so hateful and it's so harmful to to uh to black people or asians or hispanics don't know why but if it's so hurtful then i feel like even you being black should even say the n-word Simple as that. If the, if it, the word if the word holds so much power in today's day and age, I feel as if nobody should say it, nobody at all. But if y'all keep saying it, why why does it matter if another person say it also? And I'm confused on why do Asians and Hispanics gotta do anything? I'm I'm confused. They're not black. I'm just confused. Why are they hurt? Why are they hurt? I don't even know why the black people hurt. Y'all say it all day long. He was correcting you students on to not say the N-word. Now, could he have said, don't say the N-word? Okay, yes, he could have said that. Okay, that was better off being said than actually saying the actual word as she states. I don't even know what the teacher actually said, but I'm just saying, if he actually said, yeah, don't say Iga, okay, in my classroom. Now, I feel like he should have... I feel like that could have been dealt with differently. He could have said, you know, don't say the N-word. But doing the whole protest and, and getting the teacher fired and all types of nonsense, bro, it's ridiculous, y'all. It, it's seriously ridiculous. We have to do we have to do better, bro. It's ridiculous. I, I, I'm just saying. We worry about the wrong things. If he didn't if he didn't say it to an individual and said, you igga, if he didn't say that to an individual, why are we really tripping right now? I'm just, why are we really tripping? I feel like we just want something. We just want something to do. I feel like we just need something to do. Because why are we tripping if he didn't say it to an individual? If he said, don't say this word in my classroom, blah, blah, blah. Why are we tripping? Y'all make it like this man just bluntly said, hey, you shut up, you igga. Like, come here, you igga. Like, y'all make it like he just really went out there and just bluntly said it. I am saying it. 
and they really just wanted something to change, especially because he was suspended once for one day and came back acting natural. He did make himself the victim, and when he apologized, he didn't really even apologize, and we just feel like something should happen. We reached out to the district. They haven't responded. The school did send out a letter to parents days later saying in part this behavior has no place in a classroom, will not be tolerated, and staff is committed to making DHS an anti-racist school. When Mr. Chestnut returned to school a day later, he addressed students in his sixth period class with this. It's, it was harmful for me to say it. Um, for me as a middle-aged white man to say it, it hits a different way. It's almost like it's cool and it's definitely not. Um, I could have thought of that in the moment and done something different. He acknowledged students may no longer feel safe returning to his class either. And I got the opportunity to think about how and why that got past the filter. Right? It's easy for me to wonder that growing up in this country at the time I did, starting in the past, that uh, I have absorbed some racist nonsense that is still bumping around in my brain. Bro, hold on, wait, pause, pause, uh, pause the freaking video. You telling me that you that students don't feel comfortable returning to this man's classroom after he that doesn't that doesn't even sound like oh he was just uh playing victim he wasn't really apologizing like no he's actually sitting here apologizing telling y'all that he's sorry what do y'all want from the man you know what I'm saying y'all want him to get on his knees and say I'm so sorry guys forgive me forgive me I'm sorry like no bro he don't have to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I wouldn't even have to apologize because, I mean, these kids say this word like it's like it's just, it, it, it's free to say. I'm just saying. It's free to say. It's freedom of speech. We in America. I'm just saying. But these kids say the word every single day. It's not one day that go by that you don't hear a, a, a person saying the N-word. It's not one day that goes by. Everybody done said this word before, and it's so crazy that this is such a problem in America. That we hate the fact that white people say the N-word when we say it every single day. And then you talking about the Asians and Hispanics felt very uncomfortable. And they, like, why? Why? Why did they feel uncomfortable? I'm confused. I'm honestly confused. I'm confused. Why Why you say white people too? <laughs> Man, I don't know, bro. I really don't know. It's just, it bothers me the simple fact that this teacher has to deal with the nonsense of these students. You know what I'm saying? Because he he didn't have the filter to say just the N-word. He, he said the actual word instead of saying N-word. But, I mean, it is what it is, bro. This is the world that we live in. The reason I'm showing up for class next week is because I have to do a retest. It was so not a good apology that I don't even remember what he said. What? Now, if you would like to see everything that the teacher said, head right to our website at atlantanewsfirst.com. We've shared it there for everyone to see. She looks like she don't like her job. But anyways, um, this is, this is ridiculous. Okay, this is honestly ridiculous because, dog, I don't, I don't know, bro. I truly don't know. He could have he could have said just the N word, but I feel like if he didn't if he didn't bluntly say it to an individual, if he didn't go out there just calling everybody the N word, like why are we really tripping about the situation? Even if he did, I still would have the same thoughts that okay, we said to each other like get like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because me personally, I'm just like y'all say it like crazy. So why can't the other person say it? Why is it so hurtful when they say it? Y'all just be wanting something to talk about, bro. That's really it. That's really it. Y'all just want something to talk about. Y'all want something to do. Y'all wanted a reason to get out of class and protest. And this school allowed that to happen over a freaking N-word. A N-word. I'm pretty sure y'all, y'all was just I'm pretty sure y'all was saying in the protest too. Eagle, 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 eagle. I'm pretty sure y'all was saying it. <laughs> man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Was it really worth the man uh getting suspended, fired, whatever? over a word that we all say okay i'm just i'm just trying to figure out myself but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below i'm tired of hearing this nonsense it's ridiculous uh even the fact that we got to deal with this but once again i love y'all man god bless stay blessed peace